Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Hemmins back with another chapter from our book, Magic Tree House, Dinosaurs Before Dark. Now, the last time we met in chapter two, remember Jack and Annie, our main characters, were at the top of the tree house that was filled with books. When all of a sudden the wind started blowing, the tree house was spinning, and they realized that when they opened their eyes, they were still in a tree house, but it was very different. They also met a dinosaur last chapter, and the dinosaur was a pterodon, a flying dinosaur. So let's see what's going to happen in chapter three. It is called, Where is Here? So maybe we'll find out where they are. <coughs> Jack looked out the window. He looked down at the picture in the book. He looked back out the window. The world outside and the world in the picture, they were exactly the same. The pterodon was soaring through the sky. The ground was covered with ferns and tall grass. There was a winding stream, a sloping hill, and volcanoes in the distance. W where are we? stammered Jack. The pterodon glided down to the base of their tree. The creature coasted to a stop and stood very still. What happened to us? said Annie. She looked at Jack and he looked back at her. I don't know, said Jack. I was looking at the picture in the book and you said, wow, I wish I could see a pterodon for real, said Annie. Yeah, and then we saw one in the Frog Creek Woods, said Jack. Yeah, and then the wind got loud and the treehouse started spinning, said Annie. And then we landed here, said Jack. We landed here, said Annie. So that means, said Jack. So that means what, said Annie. Nothing, said Jack, and he shook his head. None of this can be real. Annie looked out the window again. But he's real. She said, he's very real. Jack looked out the window again. The pterodon was standing at the base of the oak tree like a guard. His giant wings were spread out on either side of him. Hi, said Annie. Shh, said Jack. We're not supposed to be here. But where is here, said Annie. I don't know, said Jack. Hi, Annie yelled again at the creature. The pterodon looked up at them. Where is here, Annie called down. You're nuts. Pterodons can't talk, said Jack. But maybe the book could tell us. Jack looked down at the book. He read the words under the picture. <clears throat> This flying reptile lived in the Cretaceous period. It vanished 65 million years ago. That's the time when dinosaurs roamed the planet. Now we all know that dinosaurs now are, vocab word, extinct. Very good. Dinosaurs are extinct. That means they're dead and they're not coming back. No, that's impossible. They couldn't have landed in a time 65 million years ago. Jack, said Annie, he's nice. Nice? Yeah, I can tell. Let's go down and talk to him. Talk to him? Annie started down the rope ladder. Hey, shouted Jack, but Annie kept going. Are you crazy, Jack called? Annie dropped to the ground. She stepped boldly up to the ancient creature. I wonder what she's going to say, and I wonder how he's going to react to see an actual human. <clears throat> well, that's the end of Chapter 3. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, stay tuned every day to hear a new chapter. Tomorrow, we'll be reading Chapter 4 called Henry. Hey, we know a Henry. All right, boys and girls, I'll talk to you soon. Have a good night.